Our witness today on our first panel is the Honorable Patrick Henry, Chief Deputy Majority Whip and former Chairman of the House Financial Services Committee's Oversight and Investigation Subcommittee. Congressman McHenry represents the 10th District of North Carolina, uh, a state which is definitely well known for its uh, support of motorsports, um, and we really appreciate uh, the, the North Carolina being the, the headquarters of NASCAR and uh, uh, for all they have done for the, the great American tradition of uh, stock car racing. Congressman McHenry is the sponsor of H.R. 4715, the RPM Act which I am co-sponsoring, and his bill will be part of the discussion in this hearing. We thank him for being here this morning and look forward to the hearing about his experiences with this issue. I now recognize Congressman McHenry for five minutes to present his testimony. Uh, thank you, Mr. Uh, Loudermilk. Uh, thank you, Chairman Loudermilk. Thank you, Chairman Smith, uh, Ranking Member, member Byer, uh, Ranking Member Johnson. Uh, thank you for having me here today. Uh, it is an honor to speak before this uh, great committee. Uh, it is truly an honor personally to be back. Uh, before the committee, uh, as the uh, full committee chairman said. Um, I represent an area of uh, North Carolina that has a rich history of supporting and participating in motorsports. Uh, from amateur weekend racers to NASCAR drivers, motorsports plays a vital role in Western North Carolina's economy and recreational activities. Uh, many communities in my district and across the country have racetracks that provide an outlet for motorsports enthusiasts, both competitors and fans alike. The EPA recently issued a proposed rule that makes it illegal to convert a vehicle if its admission system is modified and taken out of compliance from its stock configuration. The EPA made this rule with little input from the affected motorsports stakeholders, catching many of them by surprise. Mr. Chairman, this is no way for an agency to regulate and certainly not in keeping with the American tradition of jurisprudence. While the Clean Air Act does authorize the government to regulate the emissions of vehicles, Congress never intended for the EPA to regulate vehicles that are modified for use on racetracks. In 1990, Congress affirmed this exemption when it authorized the EPA to regulate non-road vehicles and explicitly excluded any, quote, vehicles used solely for competition, end quote, from the non-road definition. While the law has not changed, what the regulations put forward by the EPA uh, state are dramatically different with uh, the keeping of the last 40 years of regulatory environment. That is, in fact, the case. That is why we are here today, is the plain text of the regulation goes counter to the congressional intent of a Democrat House and a Democrat Senate majority, as well as a Republican President that signed that into law. Uh, this is bipartisan legislation, and we are defending the law against regulatory overreach. That is the nature of the reason why I am here, to defend those enthusiasts that wish to continue to practice uh, their competitive outlets. This new regulation will prohibit responsible, law-abiding people who wish to modify their cars for racing on closed tracks from doing so. The Federal Government has no place at a racetrack testing vehicle admissions as if it is a public road. The EPA's action will harm all involved, from owners and operators of tracks to vendors who sell food and souvenirs and, of course, families who spend Saturday evening at the local uh, racetracks. Furthermore, this regulation targets businesses who manufacture the aftermarket exhaust systems that replace the stock systems. According to the Specialty Equipment Market Association, this industry employs over one million people nationally. These systems are essential, uh, essential part of racing, and the makers of them are often small businesses that cater to specific markets. I have many of them in my district. People like uh, Jason from Gastonia in my district, uh, a constituent who first brought this EPA overreach to my attention, uh, for people like Jason, this is not simply a weekend hobby, but rather what pays the bills for him and his family. We cannot stand idly by watching the EPA regulate hardworking Americans like Jason right out of business. In response to this misguided regulation, I have introduced H.R. 4715, the Recognizing and Protecting Motorsports, or the RPM Act. This bipartisan legislation reaffirms congressional intent that vehicles used solely for competition are not subject to emission standards under the Clean Air Act and that it would not be considered tampering to modify these vehicles for exclusive track use. If the EPA gets its way on this issue, it will do irreparable harm to motorsports and the businesses that power them. 
It is imperative that we act now to stop the EPA's heavy-handed approach and preserve this sport that uh, serves as a hobby and living to millions of Americans. Mr. Chairman, thank you again uh, for uh, having me here today and inviting me to speak on this important issue. I applaud the Committee's work in addressing this is issue and look forward to continuing to work with the Committee and the Committee staff uh, to preserve our Nation's rich motorsports heritage for future generations. And with that, I yield back. Thank you, Mr. McHenry, uh, for your testimony.